Today is the day. I know your nuts have been quaking for this video for a long time. It's been around three months. But for those that don't know what's going on, I made a video about how I wanted to give away some items. And here are just some of them we got. Crunk and Roll, the Pellucid AK. I know a lot of people like the Pellucid AK. Futuristic. We also got the Lavender Die, a Samurai Sword. And then some other just lower tier relics and legendaries. But I told people, hey, you need to make a parody of my video style three months ago. And it was a little bit different. Now I'm a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say normie, but yeah, we're pretty much normie now. Back there, I was pretty much like Goop from Meet the Robinsons. Like just depressed, sad. Had no enthusiasm in my voice. I mean, it's still there. But we're going to be reacting to the top five videos because there was a total of 52 submissions and we'd be here literally all day so we're just gonna do the top five get a nice in-depth analysis on these so yeah let's get into it hello guys it's your favorite tax fraud committing crunker commentator silly <laughs> i mean uh mr nuclear i just got back from stealing uh sydney's apricots um with that came some very important information you know that's very brave of you mr nuclear by the way this is by mr nuclear and the title is why silly i should give me a hundred thousand kr but stealing sydney's apricots that is uh that's pretty much a death sentence i mean not only is your sfs level going down which is sim for sydney level uh it's on a scale of one to four you guys all know what i'm talking about you if you were at like a solid one you're probably at like a negative 50 at this point you pretty much just signed your death warrant so i'm not sure if i should see this as a sign of bravery or just stupidity because we all know sydney's sydney's pretty much a, a god like like we could we, we have to bow down and, and praise this man i mean he made crunker dot io which happened to give a lot of people depression but it's fine i'll give you an exception mr nuclear you know it was it was a brave act in your eyes so that's all that really counts right so if we make our way onto the market you can see it's doing you know about as good as michael jordan is prime um i don't really like skins so i don't really come here often yeah uh holy shit it's the high value nft a lot of people were like all excited about you know the gold plated pistol smg just the watch but People are just forgetting that there's something more important and more powerful than these skins. Uh, if you could see it down there, it's very high valued. I'd say it's around 4,000 Bitcoin, give or take. But look at it. Look, just look how good it is. You can see that the image isn't stretched in any way. The text is clearly centered, not towards the left side. Uh, it's it's centered down the middle. I don't know how anyone will want to pick any of these other skins, especially like the Frostbite right next to it. It's kind of a disrespectful comparison if you think about it. Frostbite's like what? Like 20 million KR, if that. High value NFT, it's not even marketable. It's that good. So if guys, if we take a look at the uh, the NFT section over here, we can see that um, the devs added in this brand new NFT. Now listen, I don't really care about skins, but this is kind of epic. You heard it there. He doesn't even care about skins, but that is epic. That's all I needed to hear. This NFT will change the world. And people are people laugh. They're like, that's, this, you're just joking. No. I'm dead ass serious. This will change the world. You know the Bored Ape collection? Those those stupid ass fucking monkeys that just start just sitting there with their like doing their stupid poses. Well guess what? I've added screenshot protection onto mine. Yeah, I know, it's crazy to think about. I got the best engineers in the world to create a technology where it cannot be screenshotted. It's impossible. You try to do it, it just comes out blank. It's crazy stuff, guys. It's crazy stuff. I know, I know. Celia, tell us how to do it. No. I'm not going to do it. Well, uh, in conclusion, uh, I still don't like skins. I still won't use them. But uh, I think Crunker is doing a very good job with the NFTs. I am very proud of the newest one. No bias at all. No, there, no, there's no bias. Um, I don't, I don't understand why people would think that. No, but for real though, I wonder what this new uh, FRVR collaboration, uh, if there's gonna be new NFTs coming in. Like they dropped the NFT bomb on us, and then they just like kind of dipped on it. Like it's just been like kind of chilling there so we'll see maybe the silly nft actually might get added into the game who knows guys yeah at this point you can honestly just flex on everyone in the block game but now if i do get this nft please don't be begging for it or saying check trades check trades uh because my grandma has been playing among us and trick shotting in it recently so you better watch out you don't want to get in her way yeah, you don't want to get sniped with those allegations and get sent out of this ship. But yeah, on behalf of, like, people begging for the NFT, like, that's just gonna happen. Like, this is, one, this is Krunker.io. Kids think that if you beg more and more, they'll get everything they wanted. I mean, that's how mommy, you know, taught them. But with that high-valued NFT, it's just, it's gonna happen. It's part of the package deal. You know, you got this super nice NFT, but then you also have kids begging for it. It's an unfortunate debuff, and I'm hoping to get it nerfed soon. I, I'm 
trying to think of ways how I could get it nerfed, but that just comes along with having a boss ass NFT. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys found the NFT about as exciting as I did. But yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and that's pretty much it. But yeah, I like this video a lot. I liked how you sounded dead inside and depressed. I also liked how you, you really put the, the NFT on a pedestal, making it sound better than it actually is. So thank you for that. Now, just because you got fifth place, it's still a great video. You had some pretty good competition. The ones behind, some of the ones behind you were just, were just so, so, oh my gosh, I don't even want to show them. Some of them were just like, Cilio, please, 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 Cilio, just give me the 100,000 camera, man. I, I got scammed last week, man. It was just so bad. Just please give me the 100. Like they just completely disregarded like what the whole challenge was but this was a good job mr nuke good job stamp of approval boom you got it all right nuke so you're gonna get you're gonna take my circuits uh the dragon claw and also have some other random ones you can have my lng wanderer just to give you some some more padding we'll give you this item fifth place gets around ten thousand, but of course these aren't really relics or anything the only cool one is pretty much the dragon claw in my opinion so there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right, boys. On to the next video. This one's by Quaxter27. It's called Why Cilia Should Give Me 100,000 KR in Crunker. Got 136 likes. I think this was by far the most viewed one. Um, so yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Quaxter27 here with another banger video. Just got off the toilet, taking a massive dump. That thing was the size of like 10 apricots smushed together. I'm gonna keep it 150 to you guys. Real shit, no pun intended. McDonald's poops are the best. Like, I'm I'm sorry, like that food is so bad for you. I understand it's so terrible, but God damn! Those they hit different. They hit different. Alright, getting off topic. Let's get back into the video. Oh, wait, actually, no, he started with welcome to a banger video that's how i used to always introduce my old videos not anymore maybe i should bring that back do you guys think i should bring that back every time i said that the video was a banger so was i lying he's also got the no ui so brownie points for that anyways guys today we'll be looking at some possible leaked nfts for krunker so this first nft is like a bear i guess he just said it was a bear he he just Guys, it's an otter. I know it looks like a bear, but it's an otter. Nothing more makes me so mad that people think it's a bear. That's like me saying, Quackster, look at this goose. Nice goose you got there, huh? Yeah, how does it feel, Quackster? It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel great at all. It's probably the worst thing you could do. Now I get my art skills aren't great. I made that picture in, I think, like kindergarten. But guys, it's an otter. Maybe it needs to, I need to add, what are those things called? Whiskers? Do, do otters have whiskers? I don't know. Maybe I need a new profile picture. I know it's a high valued NFT now, but it's maybe it's time for change. Not too sure what I think about that first one right there. In my opinion, it looks like uh, I drew it on MS Paint or something, but you never know. NFT market can be pretty weird sometimes. It was actually made in MS Paint. How, how did you know? How could you tell? I mean, I know the, the art skills are just, you know, so good. You remember that one kid in like kindergarten in art class that would just, that was like a straight up try hard. You wanted to walk over to them and just smear paints all over their shit because they were just being arrogant. Well, I was that guy. Yeah, that was me. That was me, guys. And that was the art I made. Everyone was so jealous because I made a masterpiece. I made the otter profile picture that we all know and, and hate today. Our second NFT here is uh, actually a picture, I guess. Uh, not too sure why the Crunker Desk would do this. I can't lie to you. His uh, hair is a bit greasy, uh, a, bit, a bit grubby, a bit of a grubby little grubber. He kind of looks like the guy who did the Crunker Beast scam, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, with that greasy hair. He just needs a pack of Pop-Tarts right behind him. He'd fit right in. Yeah, that guy also looks hella, hella sad and depressed to be playing uh, Crunker.io. I would still value the first uh, Otter NFT over that one. I mean, that was a pretty decent NFT, I'm not going to lie, but not nothing comparable to the Otter NFT. That's definitely the face of a man that cheats every day on Crunker, installs hacks, installs aimbot, probably is a Crunker Central subscriber, a fan, comments on all their videos, watches Crunker weekly tournaments on Twitch. That's pretty much a cardinal sin at this point. Just kidding, just just kidding. It's a moral sin. Anyways, let's continue. Definitely the opposite of what Mike Jordan was like in his prime. Guys, he does not look like a happy camper in this picture. Not too sure who this actually is of though. Maybe a dev's kid. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, no, I, I can tell you exactly who that is. That is um, Sydney's son. That's you remember when Sydney announced the dev that he had uh, 
a son coming in that's that's him he's all grown up so i actually messaged quest or how he got this image because like the son is clearly like he's like grown up now and what he said is he went to keener der toten went to that teleporter and got like time warped a couple years ahead uh took the picture came back and now he's sharing this with us he's really got the inside scoop here so i will applaud him on that that is some information that none of us have seen before however He's a little grubby. Okay, so for our third and final Crunker NFT, we have Grandma trickshotting in Among Us. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know whose grandma that is, but she does not look as grubby as the Crunker Beast guy. And I have to respect that she has no skins, no skin game, rise up. Yeah, she didn't have any skins on. That's pretty impressive. However, who trickshots with an AK-47, Quackster? Huh? Huh? If I don't see the DSR with the tactical insertion and a shock charge, you're not trickshotting. You're just, you're smurfing. She's definitely smurfing in Black Ops 2 lobby using the AK. Wait, actually there wasn't an AK. It was the AN-94, but whatever. Yeah, no no grandma is going to trickshot with a, an assault rifle. You got to get a sniper, high damage sniper. It almost looks like she was playing like CSGO. I mean, she had that pixel peek down. Impressive stuff by grandma. It's pretty much the end of these leaked NFTs for Krunker. Let me know what you think about them in, down below. And... I'll see you in the next banger video. Alright, good video by Quackster. Very fantastic video. Thank you for explaining those leaked NFTs. I really enjoyed them. Now for you, you will get uh you get a contraband, but it's not the you know, it's not the greatest contraband out there. But it could add to your collection. You could definitely sell it and make other stuff from it. But here's the crunk and roll, here's the trip wire. And you know, just because I'm you know trying to get rid of this shit, uh well you'll you can have some wires. You want some wires? So yeah, fourth and fifth place kind of had a comparable amount of KR, but I mean, you get a contraband. You could probably scam some kid in the Crunker Trade Plaza. Be like, hey, dude, I got a nice contraband. I know it says it's 6,000 KR, but really it's worth 20,000. As well as uh, an AK, a relic AK. Not too bad, not too bad. And, and of course, how could I forget the wires? But congrats, Quackster. Got 50K. Y'all really up the amount? Jesus, okay. Uh, oh my gosh, guys. I just got done eating a sandwich. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Anyways, next up, we got uh, Mr. Starfall. His is a Karen showed up to my house. Sell y'all parody. Let's see how this is. Let's see how this is. Yes, guys, this is no drill. I have been attacked by the Karen clan. This is quite an interesting story, so make sure you watch it to the end. So this has been a debate for um, thousands of years. If Staz is better than Karen, because... Let's just be honest, they're both horrible. And whenever we see Staz members in a lobby, we just, we just all cringe. And honestly, we just leave because it's, it's embarrassing to be in a lobby with them. Not only are they terrible at the game, but it's just being in their presence just makes you feel, uh, what's, what's the word? Uncomfortable. But at least with the Karen clan, it's like, okay, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the Karen clan. You kind of want to fight them. So it gives you more incentive to try harder. So I think that kind of ends that debate. I think the Karen clan is a little bit better than Staz. I, I think most people would agree with that. So I was just chilling in my house, playing some cranker and eating my apricots when I heard a car pull up on my driveway. I got to my window to see this middle-aged woman running out of her car and go up to my porch. Then she started banging on my door like Michael Jordan in his prime while she was screaming at me to open the door. Bro, I'm sorry this traumatic experience happened to you. That would actually, like, shake me to my core. I'd probably poop my pants on Karen's arrival because I'd know she's gonna, you know, go ape shit. Hopefully Starfall can get some redemption for this because just Karen being in his presence is a scary thought in itself. As most of y'all can figure out at this point, I was very confused, but as the nice guy I am, I went and opened the door. That's your first mistake. That is, that is, no, you don't open the door. You just ignore them. Pray that something else will draw aggro. That's, that's really what it is. If you're a Destiny player, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You just gotta wait for someone else to, you know, just walk, be walking on the street. Karen will get mad at that. They'll pull aggro, and you're gone with your day. It's that simple. Well, when I opened the door, the Karen apparently didn't expect me to open because she jumped up in the air like LeBron James dunking on a six-foot-tall middle-aged man and screamed louder than Cashy unboxing a contraband. Well, after a few seconds, this lady got back her senses and gave me this terrorizing stare. God damn! She, ju she jumped back that far? Really? As high as LeBron James can dunk? That is, that's actually kind of crazy. And if she screamed as loud as, as Cashy... Uh, I, I, Jesus Christ, man. All right, we're gonna do a, a quick cashy impression. I'm gonna stand away from the mic so I don't like make your ears bleed. Um, but just imagine, you know, we're, we're spinning. Oh my God! Oh my God, we got an unobtainable! Guarantee that shit will be on Krunky's M1 the next day. Guarantee, 
hundred percent guarantee. Cashy will speed up his upload rate because he hit a nice clip. That's my new conspiracy theory. Anyway, moving on. You know that kind of stare that only your teacher gives you when you walk into class when you're zero point three seconds late. Yeah, that kind of stare. At this point, my two brain cells are fighting in my head about who this lady is and why she is on my front porch. Wait, you <laughs> you have two brain cells? Not fair, dude. I only have one left. So as some of you may know, I've been getting a little bit into NFTs, just really trying to make some NFTs and selling them, you know, to make a few extra bucks. Ah, so you're a douchebag. <laughs> Sorry. God damn. I have nothing against people that make NFTs, but like there's there's definitely a stereotype of the the type of people that actually do that shit. I know Starfall doesn't do it, but oh my gosh. I really just saw it as sort of a hobby that wasn't really gonna make me much money. That was until I created this masterpiece. This high oh value Oh my NFT. gosh! He, oh, look, I gotta pause the video right there. That is a high value NFT. I have never seen that before. Ever. Ever. That is, that is a rare sight to me. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Look how well it's cropped. I already talked about this before, but perfection. It's straight up perfection. I would actually, you know what would be funny is if this this picture actually showed up on, uh, what is it, OpenSea? On just like an NFT trading site. If this shit actually shows up there, that, you know, I've done my job here. The video has done its job already. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. This is just an absolute Craig SM. So I decided to put it on OpenSea for 3,000 bucks. And this is where the crazy shit start. So apparently this current at my door has an 11 year old kid. And this kid just absolutely loves his grandma. They just have that bond that you only can have with your grandma. Some people would say an unconditional love. I know uh, me and Sydney have this kind of bond. Even though we've never talked to each other. We have this, it's just this connection. Like it, I could just feel the connection without even seeing him. But apparently Apparently the connection's only one-sided because, well, I would have already communicated that. Like, listen, I need to be verified. I need two-factor authentication here, guys. I, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. They said that two-factor authentication is coming to every account soon, at least. Hopefully, I'm just waiting. One of these, one of these days, a crunker hacker is gonna come along and steal my information, hack on my account, and there's gonna be nothing I can do about it. It's gonna be a sad day. It's gonna happen. Guys, my password is 1234. Try it out. Maybe you'll hack into it. Maybe. Well, anyways, this kid's grandmother just absolutely loves trickshotting in Among Us. But it didn't go too well for her because she couldn't afford an actual PC, so she was playing on a microwave powered by a potato. You should have actual footage of this setup on screen right now. How the hell did you get pictures of my setup? Starfall, this is kind of concerning. I'm kind of creeped out now. How did you- Now, what's weird is those potatoes are powering the microwave, but usually those are powering my brain i don't know how you changed up the configuration to do this so you should teach me sometime looks like she got some looks like games in the back in that little cubby over there hopefully you got wii sports resort or maybe like monkey ball 2 some of the classics some of the greatest games of all time hopefully she's got fortnite battle royale back there if she doesn't she's she's not your grandma dude i'm sorry but if your grandma's not playing fortnite uh she's not your grandma She's just a fake. She's a phony. She's a paid actor. So pretty much since the setup was so bad, every single night this kid had to listen to his grandma Babe Ridge like an old female version of Tyler 1. And because this kid was so in love with his grandma, he decided to try and make some money to buy his grandma an actual PC. So the kid just searched up high value NFTs and then he somehow found my NFT. And as he sees this, he just knows. He gets a sign from God and a praise from the angels that this is the NFT that is going to make his grandma great again. See, the Celia NFT changes lives. And people really, they step over it. They're like, huh, it's a stupid NFT, Celia. Guys, I don't think you understand how many lives we're changing. We're feeding thousands of children a day with this NFT. It is producing millions and millions of crunkies every hour. But some people just don't get it. They're they're uh, silly odd deniers. That's what they're called. They're silly odd deniers. And it's so sad. Can we just make a change, guys? Guys, we need to do better. We need to do better. How about that? We need to do better. But as this kid doesn't have any money, he decides that the only thing to do is to steal his mom's credit card and buy it. Well, as anybody would, his mom just got absolutely furious when she found out. Guys, if your social security number was your crunkies, what? How much? How many crunkies would you have? Don't, don't, please, God, don't answer that. That is a joke. Don't hunt me down, FBI. I, I, it was just a joke. I'm not. No, I'm not fishing for credit cards. I, I'm, <laughs> actually, speaking of which, if. If your credit card number was an amount of crunkies, how many crunkies would you have? So that leads to the Karen pulling an IP grabber on the website and then driving all night to my house. And now she's standing on my front porch. 
Yep, she's still standing there after I made it clear that I was not giving her the money back. Then she said she won't leave until I give it Let's back. Get, get but, um, I'm fine, guys. I've bunkered up on food that'll last me the next nine weeks, so she'll probably give up by then. Well, yeah, that's really it, guys. See ya. All right, Mr. Starfall, not too shabby of a video. This leaves you in third place. I got you with the samurai sword. Which is pretty much the equivalent of the last two prizes, around 20,000k are not too shabby. And lucky you, I don't think you have it yet, so, you know, congratulations, man. You got a samurai sword. You can, you know, kill people. Ah, uh, solid 10k, all right? You love to see that, guys. <laughs> you love to see that. Am I whopping 807k are now? All right, there you go, man. There you go. Good job. So this next one is uh, by Lord Watermelon. Uh, it's called Why Celia Should Give Me 100,000k are in Crunker dot dot dot. It's got uh, 79 likes. Uh, almost a thousand views. Uh, let's just get into it. What's up, guys? Lord Watermelon back with another banger video. I just got off the toilet taking a massive dump. Am I the only one who sniffs the toilet? Anyway, we're getting a bit off topic here. <clears throat> I had this discussion on stream yesterday. This is, I, I, I'm a little bit off topic here, but you know there's someone in the world that doesn't actually wipe. And more importantly, you know that there's someone in the world that uses their hand to wipe. Sorry, this is just important stuff. I have to discuss this with you guys. Anyways, we're getting a little bit off topic here. Let's just continue watching the video. Also, good intro. Started with the banger video. We love to see that. Today, we're going to be reacting to the saddest crunker clip by Lord Watermelon. Yes, this is a short on a crappy IO game. This dude is really desperate for views. Anyway, it is a clip of him trickshotting, and he spins a lot. Like, I am I mean, these spins are better than Michael Jordan in his prime. This could have been the perfect setup for a joke. You could have said, these spins are better than the average heroic spin because we always, because we always get shitty-ass items. At least I do, unless you're... <laughs> Unless you're just lucky and get unobtainable. You lucky bastards. How do you guys do this shit? I think I've spun over probably half a million KR. And I think I've gotten a total of like four or five contrabands ever. Like I get it's supposed to be rare, but there are those lucky ass dudes that log on the game or level like four. It's like, I'll get my first spin. First spin's like a contraband. First spin's an unobtainable. And here I sit just watching them and I just cry. I straight up just cry for hours. I go through like five tissue boxes of crying. My grandmother trickshotting in Among Us couldn't spin as much as this dude did. Anyway, I'll roll the clip now. I won't spoil the end, but let me just say, it had me tearing up. Oh, there's a dude over here. No! Holy shit, dude, you just hit marked the best trick shot of the world. All right, let's just pull the average trick shotting CC reaction. Holy shit! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! There we go. There, that's all I'm gonna do. I think I just strained my back doing that. I don't know how you guys can... T I don't know how people can do that. Like, all day, every day. Like, faking reactions. Yeah, the average FaZe member in 2015 be like, Lamau. I mean, this clip is almost as sad as people who use rounded arms. I had to get out the box of tissues again there, and honestly, I don't think I could ever watch this a third time. Well, I already used multiple boxes of tissues, so I am all out wa Lord Watermelon. It was a very sad clip. You hate to see a hit mark. You hate to see that sadness, that depression that comes after, you know, trying for hours and hours trying to hit a trick shot, and it's a hit marker. It's almost as bad as, uh, what's his name, Little Bibby uh, teasing the new Juice World album, because I know every Krunker player and their mom listens to Juice World on stream. You hop into any Krunker stream, they're playing Juice World. 99% of the time, it's Juice World. This dude must have eaten hundreds of apricots to have this much health. And I think we're gonna leave it there. But before I end, let me just show you my new NFT on OpenSea. Would this NFT happen to include one sexy otter that is a greenish blue color and has a purple background? It wouldn't happen to be this, and it wouldn't happen to have high value NFT, would it? Let's just keep watching to find out. It is very high value, as you can see from the articulate design of the bear. Whoa, 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 what the fuck are you doing? Stop screenshotting that shit. I mean, I shouldn't be worried. It has screenshot protection. It has screenshot protection, guys. We're all good. So basically what happened was, Lord Watermelon, your device is compromised. When you took those screenshots, you actually signed a secret agreement that you'd sell your soul to me. Yep, that's exactly what happened. And that is the type of protection that we need on NFTs. You take a screenshot, you just die. So Lord Watermelon, I wish you the best of luck, buddy, but uh, you signed your death wish there. You did. You did. The second you clicked, uh, what is it, the volume button and the power button on your iPhone, probably 5S. I mean, I wish you the best of luck again. I wish you the best. And it is currently selling for 0.0001 Ethereum, 
or 14 trillion US dollars. So please buy this so I can afford all my KR. Anyway guys, I'll see you next time. Mm, these are really good. Dang, he's bringing the classic food review at the end of the videos. My gosh, what a king. It's like a, it's like the cheese way to hit the eight minute mark on your videos. It, it's, it's fantastic. It really is. You guys should try it out if you're trying to get eight minutes. Because it's still content. It's just shitty content. You know what I'm saying? It's just... It's, it, that, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe I used to do that for... Um, for hitting the eight minute mark. Now I just create shit content. Now I just make the entire video's ass. That's just the, that's the trick. So yeah, Silly all exposed right there. Oh my God, guys, those chips were just too good. All right, see ya. Fantastic. That was like 15 seconds long of just chip agony. We love to see that. Congrats. You know, I just I just gotta quickly say thank you guys for having the same username for everything, unlike those psychopaths that change their username every five days. I appreciate you guys. My gosh. You guys know what I'm talking about. That that one kid that changes their shit every other day based on how they're feeling. It is the most annoying thing ever. Especially on Discord. It's like you get a DM from someone random and it's like, uh, what who is this? And then you realize, oh wait, it's this guy. So now you have to do extra work just because they got so greedy and they wanted to change their name because they're not creative enough it's crazy stuff out here man all right you get the futuristic and the emerald that's around 30 to 40 thousand kr uh congratulations watermelon have fun with that and that just leaves the big boy prize the pellucid ak and the lavender dye we'll send you that trade 35k are not too bad we're down we're worth low we're low on KR, boys. Now, who could have won this challenge? I bet that's that's what everyone's saying. Oh gosh, silly, who who won the challenge? Uh, I gotta say, this one was my personal favorite. I mean, all these are ranked based on how I like them, but this one is just it's just so elaborate, so good. Uh, it makes me have goosebumps. This video is called "Why Silly Must." He, he's very demanding on this. Uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of giga chat. I'm not gonna lie. Must pay me nine 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 sextillion mine coins immediately period now when you put the period at the end of any sentence especially online that means you mean business so uh hyperion let's just watch your video and an early congratulations for making a banger video and it's in 4k <laughs> Yo, what's up, you fucking Himalayan sea monkeys? It's your favorite famous Austrian painter Hyper over here. Coming at you with another banger commentary and banger socioeconomic opinion. You know, you know how it is, crunker uh, politician here, Celia. Some say I have yet to miss. Uh, also, I have hit IGN 10 out of 10. Um, they've reviewed all my videos. You guys can trust me on that source. Uh, and if you really don't trust me, just go to trustmeper.com. It's a very credible source. Works every time. But if I am the banger politician here, I have authority to say that this is, in fact, a banger video hope everyone had a great fantastic and maybe even wonderful weekend i know i did your boy might have gotten tracked down by the secret service due to multiple incriminating accounts of vehicular manslaughter and for multiple accounts of illegally trafficking drugs out in south america but that's all right because we're chilling now that's right we're ch we're always chilling we're always chilling you know after all these crimes that that we commit throughout the days we're fine we're chilling we're still playing crunker we're all good. I, I just like the memes, the, 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 the really crappy sped up memes that he puts throughout this video. I think it just makes this video a lot better. Yeah, the quality's kind of ass. Well, not just ass. It's, it's horrible. The quality is terrible. He's also in Flockland, so you know he's just better than everyone else. <laughs> I mean, myself included. Sorry for the shitting slurping sounds earlier. Me and Kanye just got back from Don Don. Those were slurping on each other's soda straws in the ball pit for a few hours, if you know what I mean. Probably shouldn't be eating f out at fast food places as much as I do before I end up like that Nick Apricot guy. God damn! <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done there. We're done. That's, that's all the input I wanted to put in there. He included McDonald's. Everyone knows that McDonald's is the worst fast food restaurant ever, but I just, I still love it. It's a bad problem. It's not a good problem to have. Don't eat fast food, guys. That's my tip. Don't eat fast food all the time. You can have it every once in a while, but like you will actually give yourself scoliosis. It's horrible. Questionable dietary habits aside, today we're going to be taking a look at a certain crunker content creator called Cilial. Now, for those of you grease monkeys that don't know about this sexy ass motherfucker, I'll give you a basic rundown. Basically, Cilial is kind of like a commentary YouTuber guy who does well 
commentary. I guess it'd be, be called a kind of spiritual successor to the likes of Leafy or Idos. You know? This is true, except I actually win my boxing matches and I have a chin. So he is pretty accurate on the content part. Yeah, it's pretty much aligned with their stuff. Well, at least it, it was uh, three or four months ago. Now it's kind of like, uh, now it's kind of like Morgs. I, I feel like we're really aligning with Morgs content and I really, I really found Morg to be just a, a, a very well-respected influencer on youtube.com would you guys agree if you don't know who i'm talking about just look up morgues actually more important look up morgues mom that's an even better channel go check it out i like and subscribe comment rate uh share download clip save dislike i i'm just i'm actually just looking at the bottom of the youtube thing all right let's just keep watching i, I just need to shut the fuck up you know those guys uh, apparently he plays this game or this browser game rather called uh what does that say oh it's um and it gets easily mistaken with depression simulator or some people say a phantom forces knockoff i, I don't know cranker crank Kringle? I don't fucking know. If any of you guys know more about this obscure game that no one plays about, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, apparently he's been in some hot water recently due to a new NFT he made, which I'll put on screen right now. Holy shit, it's evolving. I didn't even- okay, I swear to god I did not change the NFT. You know what this means, guys? It's- it's advanced AI. That means it's evolving based on the stimuli around it. Holy shit, I'm- I don't know if I should be scared or proud. Maybe it'll see me as its creator and embrace me, or maybe it'll just take over the world and kill everyone. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Sorry about it. Honestly, I kind of don't get what people are fussing about here. I mean, sure, say what you will about NFTs and talk all, all you want about their value as art, but like, not gonna lie, the way the eyes of this weird, pacey looking bear are looking into my soul. He said bear. He said bear. Who? Okay, hold on. Comment down below if you thought my profile picture was a bear before today before this video it's not a bear it's a freaking otter guys oh i just okay i just broke my mic hopefully this recording still works guys it's an otter it's it's not a bear oh my gosh I, I got a feeling this is gonna last forever like this i'll never be able to shake that people are gonna call it a bear now that makes me feel a certain kind of way a kind of feeling i only really get when sucking kanye's big black succulent straw you know i feel the same way that michael jordan probably did in his prime years or my grandma and she'd be hitting them 360 mlg trick shots in among us battle royale and among us battle royale came out all right guys um i think this is a great time to announce my crunker retirement <laughs> if there's among us battle royale out now sorry i'm not playing this game there's far better games than crunker at this point it was good knowing you guys uh it was, it was a great run we had a good six months of uploading videos every other day. I don't think that's ever been done before, uh, nor will it ever be done again. We're truly one of a kind. But you know what? I'm glad to know that I have other people that can make the exact same content because it's it's not hard. It's it's really not, it's nothing special. A feeling of greatness, you know, that feeling of just worthiness, that feeling of becoming one with reality. So y'all's NFT is love. So Yaw's NFT is life. I would literally sacrifice my newborn son just for a chance of obtaining a Silly Yaw NFT. I would literally suck a Teletubby's left testicle for a chance at a Silly Yaw NFT. I would literally... Well guys, it looks like this video just ascended into heaven. Um, I'm actually quite scared for my life now. I'm going to go find my nearest closet and cry. Uh, and never leave. I'll just sit there because now I'm actually quite scary. That was quite scary. And I'm sure for the average player base of being 12 years old, a lot of you guys were scared as well. People will go as far as insanity to take this NFT. And I think that's the main point of this video. It's not about the giveaway. It's not about the KR. It's about the impact that the Cilia NFT can have. It has great power, but with great power comes a big cock. And if you're not using that right, it can destroy a lot of lives and, well, produce a lot of lives too, apparently. All this rambling is basically just me telling you how amazing Silly Yaw's high up value NFT really is. I'll even put the link in the description just so you can buy a Silly Yaw NFT right now. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. See you guys. Peace. Oh, okay, we're good. I was getting a little scared there, but he ended it with the good. I'll see you guys later. Fantastic. Poggers video. Hyperion. Uh, congrats on, you know, the good shit. Here he is. Uh, hopefully this is his account. Again, he's in flaw. I'm in flaw. It's, it, I swear it's not rigged. I, I, I actually am promising you this is not rigged. All right. Oh, he doesn't have... He literally doesn't have any contrabands. Fantastic. Well, here's the Pellucid AK. 
a very high valued, not an FT, but high valued Krunker skin and the lavender dye. That should be around, I mean, it should be around 100,000 before the Krunker market crash or correction. This definitely would have been like 120,000. But you got the best out of everyone else that made videos. And this video, honestly, I just enjoyed it. I actually was giggling. Like, I actually laughed for once in my life. I actually laughed at this video. So, yeah, congrats. 35KR. Goodbye, goodbye Pelucid AK and uh, whatever that skin was. So, yeah, hopefully all those players that made these videos, the top five, actually still play Krunker. I'll, get, I'll leave those trades open until they accept them. But if it gets to be, like, over two years, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to take those and sell them. But I'm pretty sure all these people are active on Krunker, which is good. So thanks for everyone else that made submissions on this. I know I was going to make a video on uh, every single submission, but I'm realizing that it just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as good of a video. It wouldn't be as in-depth, wouldn't be as good. And a special shout-out to everyone that was bugging me that I needed to make this video and, and find release it it's been three months uh it, it, it's long overdue and i'm sorry about that but i'm sorry about that but i hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one um peace oh gosh i need i needed water after all that talking my god